Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Keisha, and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about what's in my tax preparer bag. As you can tell from the last video that I just posted on how to become a virtual tax preparer, I did mention something about me just purchasing a laptop bag because going into season is gonna be very new for all of us because we're somewhat still in this pandemic and we don't know what type of calls we're gonna get. We don't know what's gonna happen. So all we can do is just prepare ourselves and being prepared virtually is one of the number one things that I want to go ahead and just mention for all tax preparers. A lot of people that have offices, you know, some people after COVID, they're probably not going to even need an office because now everything is virtual. Having a tax preparer bag, in other words, a laptop bag for your business, it, I feel is very important. I never had a uh, tax preparer bag. I never had to, had to have one. But of course, because of COVID, I got myself prepared for next season. So if you are not following me, I suggest that you go on Instagram right now and follow Tax on Track. If you are not following my software page, Tax on Track Pro, I highly recommend that you do so. And don't forget to click the notification bell on here on YouTube and click on the subscribe button so that you're subscribed to my channel and you're able to know when I post a video by you clicking on the notifications. bag that I just purchased. I got this beautiful, black, sophisticated, cute bag from Office Depot. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but if you guys don't notice, there's a lot of laptop bags that isn't very appealing to me. At least to me, it's not appealing. So I don't like them, but I went to Office Depot when I had to purchase something for my agents because it's time for me to do everybody's 1099. People need to get their 1099s. So when I went to Office Depot to buy that, I just said, hey, let me browse through their laptop bags to see if they had it because I already had to take a look on Amazon. But again, it's so much ugly ones that I didn't really know which one I really wanted. I came across this baby right here. This was the cutest one to me at the location that I purchased my uh, laptop bag from. And when I opened it, I looked at all the, you know, the different departments in it i noticed how for instance this right here this is the where you can like pull it the handle this is the handle and then you can also close it up just in case you want to pick it up um and then it has one two three four it has four different departments one of them is being right here and i have nothing inside of it and then we have this which is the first department and I don't know if you guys can see but I have set it up like this I have uh, a sticky little like the the sticky notes I have the sticky notes here I have staplers for staples I have ink and I'm gonna show you why I have ink I have my business cards and I have I use these uh, during tax season because in this, if you want to get it, I highly recommend it. So say for instance, when you, okay, so say for instance, a customer come in and customers, they be forgetting little stuff. Like some of them forget their ID. Some of them misplace their ID. Some of them forget their social security cards at home. That's the common one people, because a lot of people don't walk around with their social. When I print out their, say for instance, I have their social, but I need a picture because I need it for documentation purposes for me to have in their file. And when they leave, I'll already print out their 1040 form. They'll have their quote, but I won't initially e-file it until I get what I need, which is a copy of their social security card. So I'll put like a little, and they'll sign it and everything. Uh, I'll have them send it to me via text message or they can email it to me. I try to stay away from that. So I, I rarely do that. Uh, in worst case scenarios, if it does happen and I really need it and I want to go ahead and send it out or they really are pressed for me to send it out, 
I'll just go ahead and take this, like a, one of them, and I'll put it on there, like on the page that it's missing. Like for instance, if I put this around the social security number, I'll put it on top of the social security number on the 1040 form on the first page so that I know like, all right, this is in, this return is incomplete. And another way for me to know that a folder isn't completed, it won't have the completed stamp on the file. So this is something that I uh, use a lot. All right, I also have white out in here. I have pens. I like to walk around with my branded pen the most. Uh, so I got the, I got like 500 of these. I got them in black and then I also have uh, a blue pen as well. I have a highlighter and I have a marker. I have this here. Uh, I forgot what you call it, but it's the date. So just in case I need it, I, I have it in here to travel with. And these are what I use a lot during season. So I have one that say completed with the date and then I'll just write the date on there. And then I'll have one with approve that say approve on it. So with me, when season starts, and this is something that you can use for your business, or you don't have to, but I really, I, it's very helpful when you have a lot of clients and you want to be in compliance with the IRS. This is something that's very, 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 very important for you to keep up. So when, say for instance, like I just said, something is missing in the file. If something is missing in the file, I will not see this on there. All the folders that doesn't have the approved tab, I know that I didn't submit it. And if I didn't submit it, it's a reason why I didn't submit it. Something is missing in the file. So yeah, if the folder doesn't have approved on it, I will not, uh, I will know already that I didn't e-file it. And when I put, the reason why I put approved is because say for instance, you had about 20 to 40 people that came in and you have all their folders ready. You have all their files there. These are the people that came in, for instance, today. They came in today, here's all, at the end of the day, here's all their files. If a customer has everything ready and we have everything that we need, so if you, your folder is completed, I'll e-file it. If I didn't e-file it, it's because something is missing. So what I do is once we e-file it, you know, we'll get our notifications later on, like, it depends like when it's during season i'll check every 30 minutes every 15 minutes to get the acknowledgement if it been approved or if it been rejected if the file if this person has been approved i'll go ahead and stamp approved on it so once i go ahead and uh, stamp approved on it i'll wait till this person get paid once they get paid i could go ahead and stamp completed that's how i know the person got paid so that's what i have in the first one and a little bit of explanation on how i work in the next one here, I have a calculator, I have a stapler, and I have some flyers. So these are the flyers that I will be using for this tax, well, going into next tax season. And uh, I have it here because it's part of my marketing strategy. And that's all I have, and this is how it looks. You guys can't see, but yeah, that's how it looks in there. It's pretty clean. I love this uh, bag, actually. I'm happy I did the purchase. Okay, so in the last one here, I have the folders and I have the laptop. Um, so this is my laptop. So this laptop here, it has a case. And then after that, I go ahead and this is my laptop. So this is the laptop here. Um, and because I'm cloud-based, and then the last thing that I have are, well, not the last thing, the next thing I have is folders. So you want to have folders in here uh, when clients, you don't know, you, you never know. So you want to have, you want to be prepared. And then I have a clipboard in here as well. One of the things that I don't have that I have to start printing out, the applications. So the applications that you want to have in here are your uh, client application, your dependent application, your due diligence application, and your self-employment applications. You wanna have these applications so that the customer could go ahead and fill out. 
you have your clipboard, you have your pen. If there's something that the customer don't have, you'll have your sticky to go ahead and uh, put whatever information that is needed that the client didn't have at the moment of time of doing their taxes. You'll go ahead and uh, notate that as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any ideas, I'm open to hearing everybody ideas. I'm trying my best to put out as much content as time goes on so this video we will have two videos that's uploaded for this week one is scheduled for later on today and we have the next one scheduled for friday so be sure to click the subscribe and the notification button so that you know when i have my next video uploaded well i stopped offering consultations but you guys are savages honey and i love every bit of that savageness that you guys have uh because people were still finding my number and they were still calling me because the office number is linked to the cell phone and it automatically i get the call but i noticed that it took a lot of my time and there wasn't a lot of balance and i'm real big on balance honey i'm trying to get this balance together and i'm still working on it i'm not acting perfect but I decided to make it a paid consultation because it's people that talk to me and they, they get like so much information just by talking to me. So if I am pers a person that's giving you information, pay for it. So now you're able to have a 30 minute consultation with me. I will have the link down below if anybody want to book a consultation. I'm only doing consultations once a week. So this is the time to do it, to book a consultation. I will have the link below and it will also be right over here for you to go ahead and book a consultation. All right, guys, so that was it for today's video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, I highly recommend that you leave a comment down below in the description so that we can i can go ahead and answer all your questions don't forget to click on the subscribe button don't forget to follow me on tax on track and tax on track pro on instagram and go to my facebook page click the like button and follow our facebook page Tax on Track Pro and Tax on Track LLC. And I will be back with another video for you guys. Bye.